everyone, welcome back to Animotion. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this trendy looking cylinder text in After Effects and also I'm gonna quickly show you how to unwrap this cylinder, so stay tuned. Alright, so I have my text layer here and I have a background precom which consists of this um, animated gradient and I've made this project file available for download including all of the animation and I've put a little bit of fee for the project file to support my channel so feel free to download it but no pressure at all if you don't want to now the first thing I'm gonna do is to add this effect called Repertile so type in Repertile in the effects and presets and drop that into your text layer so what Repertile does it's basically it's gonna repeat your text like that it has a tiling effect as well so you can play around with how the repeat look you can even like create patterns from um, one of the tilings but for this exercise i'm just gonna leave it as repeat and i'm just gonna reset this repertoire for now and what i want to do for the cylinder is i want the text to look something like this so if you expand up and down and basically I want the cylinder to kind of like wrap around horizontally for now just leave the expand up and down like that because we will readjust everything midway I'm just gonna show you how I work from the beginning so that you can see why or why not I do uh, certain things so once you've done with the CC repertoire, go to the effects and presets and look for CC cylinder so this is what gonna make your text layer into a cylinder. So if you drop that onto your text layer, ta-da, it became a cylinder. It's pretty much that easy. As I said before, I want the cylinder to kind of like stack like this, but wrap around horizontally. At the moment, it's wrap around vertically. So we need to adjust a couple of things. Let's adjust the rotation of your text layer first. I'm gonna change it to 270. And then go to the rotation in your CC cylinder effect and adjust the rotation Z to 90. Now we can't see the CC repertoire anymore because at this stage we need to actually adjust the expand right and left. So I'm gonna reset this once again and then I'm gonna expand right to 600 and expand left to 600. Now we can rotate the whole cylinder by adjusting the rotation values here under the effects. So if we just kind of like look like that and basically I want both of the edges kind of like me. So I'm just gonna change the expand right to 700 and left 700 and we're almost there. So change it to 900 maybe and 900. So they kind of like meet at the end there if you see. So it's a whole complete cylinder now. And yeah, you can rotate the Y as well so that it kind of like does that rolling effect, which we will do soon enough. Now, if you want to rotate the whole cylinder, you have to rotate it in the effects itself, not on the text layer. Because if you rotate the rotation in the text layer, then it'll just kind of like mess up with your cylinder. Obviously, unless it's the look that you're going for, then absolutely go for it. But if you want to actually like move the whole cylinder by itself, then you need to adjust it from the effects. Same thing with position, you need to adjust it from there. So if we actually adjust the position on the text layer, it doesn't really change the way that you want it. That's because it's actually just changing the value of the text itself without the effects, if that makes sense. So now that we're here, I am gonna animate the rotation. So I'm gonna animate the rotation Y. So hit the stopwatch icon and go to the very end of your frame and then create another keyframe. So hit you on your text to show you available keyframes. And just create keyframe at the very end of your composition there. Now I'm gonna start the rotation Y from zero. And then at the end, because I want it to kind of like rotate forward. So I'm gonna do it minus, minus 100 see how fast it moves so at the moment it looks like it's gonna move quite slow so I'm actually gonna do minus 1x and 0 if 
Perfect. I think it's moving the way I want it to be. Next is to show you how to unwrap this cylinder. A while back, I was talking to one of my good friends who's a great illustrator and animator. I've put her work in a link description below if you want to check her out. So basically, we were talking about how to do this cylinder text animation. She was working for a client. She basically want to unwrap this cylinder so it becomes from like cylinder to flat. And I didn't know the answer, so I couldn't really help her. Fortunately, she figured out a way on how to do that so thanks so much Vanessa for telling me how to do this using this effect called grow bounds so basically if you just drop that on your text layer it won't do anything that's because you have to move the grow bounds on top of the CC cylinder and if you adjust the numbers as you can see it unwraps like that so yeah if that's something that you want to do then absolutely do it but for this exercise I won't do the unwrap I'm gonna delete it for now. Now you can also adjust the light and the shading and that if you want it to make it full on your color then bring up the ambient. But for this exercise I actually want it to be flat color. I want the outside cylinder to have one color and then the inside to have a different color. So in order to do that we need to pre-comp this text layer. And just right click on your text layer and then pre-compose. Actually, I wanted to do a leave all attributes so that all of the effects is not pre comp with the text. But for, unfortunately, I can't do that for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. So we'll just choose this move all attributes and I'm just rename it um, cylinder. Okay, so everything's going into this new pre comp. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select both of the effects and control X to cut the effects and go back to your main comp paste it on the cylinder pre-comp and as you can see it's doing something really weird that's because we need to um, make the composition smaller so I'm gonna turn off the transparency grid for now and what you can do is to select this icon region of interest if you select it you can actually adjust the composition size by just dragging it along the screen so I'm just gonna do it like that and then go to composition and crop comp to region interest so your composition already cut down to only where the text is so that's good now go back to your main comp and voila it's fixed so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna right click on the cylinder and click reveal and i'm gonna duplicate this i'm gonna name this outside and the other one to be inside. I'm gonna move that into my pre com folder because I like things organized. And basically, I'm gonna change this color to cyan. I'm just gonna duplicate this layer and then basically grab the cylinder outside and then hold Alt Shift and drag it onto the top layer. So it's outside and inside. I'm just going to change the color of the layer so that we can differentiate it. Now, let's go to the effect controls of the outside. Now for the outside, I'm going to change the render from full to outside. So it just renders the outside bit. And same with the inside, render to inside. So it's just the inside. Now, let's go back to cylinder outside and go to shading and turn up the ambient to full strength. And same with the inside shading, turn up the ambient to full strength. Now both of it is like bright white and you can't really read what the text is. But that's okay because we're gonna change the color of the text inside. So let's go inside the cylinder inside here. And I'm just gonna change the color of the character to black. Go back to your main comp. The inside of your cylinder is black. Okay, when I copy paste the effect, obviously I copied it not from the first frame. So that was my bad. So you need to move these um, keyframes back to zero seconds. So in order to do that, select the rotation Y here, select it while holding control and then just drag that back so that the end frames also um, drag back here. 
Another thing that you can do is actually to go inside each of the cylinder, hit Ctrl K, and as you see, the width is 158. We can add this to say 200 and see how that looks like. And then if we go to the inside as well, Ctrl K, change the width to 200. So what I did just there, I just gave a bit of um, space between each line that's something that you want to do you can adjust the pre-com size i'm just gonna try different colors for the inside of the cylinder because i feel like i'm not quite happy with it i quite like that now that's how you do cylinder text and after effects and that's how you make flat colors for your cylinder thanks so much everyone for watching my tutorial hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions that you want to do for my next tutorial feel free to leave it in a comment below and yeah i'll see you next time